Hey y'all, welcome back for another NCLEX question of the day. Today our question says, the nurse is teaching a client how to self-administer anoxaparin. Which of the following statements by the client would require follow-up? So we are looking for an incorrect statement to be our correct option. Okay, option one says the needle should be inserted at a 90 degree angle. Uh, this is true, we are going into a subcutaneous tissue. The needle isn't very long. We definitely wanna go uh, at a 90 degree. Option two says, I will gently pinch the skin at the ejection site before administration. Uh, this is an incorrect option because we definitely want to do this. We wanna pinch the skin to make sure we have enough tissue for that needle to go into. Option three says the injection site should be at least two inches away from my um, umbilicus. And this is an incorrect option because it is true. We don't wanna go directly around the belly button. We want it a little farther out and we definitely wanna rotate injection sites here. Uh, and then option four says, I should expel the air bubble in the syringe before administering the, the injection. And this is our correct option because we don't want to do this. That air bubble will help ensure that all the medication gets delivered into the tissue and that none of it stays in the needle. So keeping that air bubble in is really important um, and we should make sure we teach our clients to do that every single time.